good afternoon and welcome to my Wednesday ramblings. This will be week three of the message series, The Kingdom of God. Over these couple of weeks, I've been looking at some of the parables that Jesus has been uh, proclaiming as he's talking about the kingdom of God and what that kingdom of God might look like. One of the challenges that he's presenting is that his ways or God's ways are very different from our human ways. And we've seen him tip upside down some of the preconceived ideas that people have about forgiveness. Do I forgive seven times? No, 77 times. Do I, uh, what, how do I speak to my brother? Do I do it by myself or do I invite other people to come along and to uh, walk with me as I talk to, relate to, reconcile with somebody who's separated? Do I work into the, go into the vineyard uh, when I said no, but then decide to go yes. What does that actually mean? And so we have the whole process of Jesus speaking into a totally different way of thinking. And this weekend, he comes to a, a new point. Instead of um, <clears throat> trying to work out whether the kingdom of God is a vineyard that's going to produce fruits, he, he picks up the question from the prophet Isaiah and asks whether the Lord, who looks after the vineyard, is getting the fruits that are actually the reward of um, the vineyard that for the work that's been put into it. The challenge for us is that we sometimes think we are producing fruit, but who is testing the quality of the fruit? I spent uh, two weeks ago uh, time with... Uh, two friends as we went up the east coast of Tasmania and we visited a number of wine vineyards and there was one vineyard we visited who over the past two years because of the weather conditions and the particular lie of the land on which their vineyard is uh, settled were not able to produce any uh, wines at all because the grapes just didn't have any quality to them. What is the quality of the fruits of our lives? Are they fruits that bear witness to God's love? Are they fruits that allow God's glory to be seen in what's happening? Or are they sour grapes? Are they things that really don't allow us to know the presence of God and the wonder of God in our world? We need to stop and think sometimes. What is the fruit, what are the fruits that result from what we do and what we say? So we to enter the kingdom of God, it won't be because we've got poor, work, poor wine or poor fruit. It will be because we have produced the best fruit possible and that we're making a difference in our world. Have a great week. Look forward to seeing you next time on my Wednesday Ramblings.